Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lord, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Reggie Trio. That is right, yes, the awesome new legendary Pokemon that have been entered into Pokemon Brick Bronze. I do hope that you guys will stay out through the whole tutorial as it does pose some pretty important information. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into today's video. <laughs> Okay guys, so before we get into today's guide, I would like to say that I have a huge 100 legend slash mythical giveaway coming up very, very soon. And uh, yeah, I'm even going to be throwing in some crystal onyxes into that giveaway. So, you know, for those of you who, have, who haven't been lucky yet, this will help you out quite a lot. So uh, yeah, if you want to be entered into that, all you have to do is kind of uh, subscribe to the channel, click on the little notification button, and just kind of watch the videos until I do, uh, you know, the announcement video that I'm going to be doing it on that day. Uh, but anyway, guys, enough of that. Let's get into today's video. So as you can see guys, I have shown off the Reggie Trio and you kind of have to do some little things before you go and kind of do the puzzles and that is to catch a Giraffig, I think it's called, Giraffig, I think? Uh, yeah, a Giraffig and a Dunspart. So if you guys don't already know, you can catch Giraffig at the Brimber City. So uh, go to Brimber City and then as soon as you're here, just go through this little route extender just like I did. And then you'll be on route, I think it's route... 15? I could be wrong. No, it's 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 like Route 5. Yeah, it's Route 5. Uh, so once you're on Route 5, guys, just kind of keep on circling around in the tall grass, and eventually you will bump into a Giraffig. I hope that's the way you say it. I feel like an idiot. Uh, but yeah, Giraffig is in these areas, but he is quite rare to come across. So yeah, it will take some time, guys, but don't give up. Anyway, now, once you've caught the Giraffig, you must catch the Dunsparce, and for this, you need to go to a Radius City, and like I was then, I was outside of the uh, Snorlax area, and we need to continue on to Route 12. I think. I forget the roots because I'm so excited about the new roots, I forget about the old roots. Uh, but yeah, just kind of follow where I went, guys, and then you'll be in Old Aradia. And uh, yeah, this is the route here that you need to kind of search. And in these little tall, kind of uh, sandy areas, there'll be a couple of Pokemon and also Dunsparce. You definitely need Dunsparce and Giraffic for this guide. You, you won't be able to catch them if you don't have these Pokemon. Okay, now once we've caught those two Pokemon, we need to go to the new city, guys, which is Frostvale City. And I'm here outside of the Pokemon Center. And you kind of just want to follow exactly where I go, down these stairs, through the little tunnel entrance kind of thing. And then there will be this kind of little uh, ramp going up. And then you'll see like a like a cracked wall. We want to just kind of rock climb down. And uh, yeah, I so probably should say that you do need a Pokemon that can rock climb and also rock smash. And uh, the best Pokemon for that, I would say, is Bidoof. And uh, here is where we need the Dunsparce and the Giraffig uh, to get past this little wall. What you must do is put Giraffig first in your party and Dunsparce last. And uh, yeah, now that we've done that, what we're going to do is come over to here to the red little button. Just walk into it to push it. Then we need to go to the green button, go and press that one too, guys. And then we need to run back to the red once again. Once we've done that, we're going to run over to the blue, just like so. And uh, yeah, do the blue one more time, so blue twice. And uh, yeah, then we need to do the yellow, I believe it is. So yeah, yellow. And I would also like to thank Super Monkey for helping me out on this. And oh, oh, one more time, do the green. Okay, so the green is the last one. And you should see that all of the colors light up this opening on the door. And uh, yeah, like I was saying, sorry about that. But I would like to thank Super Monkey. This guy would not be possible without you, dude. So thank you very, very much for helping me. Uh, so once that door is open, we kind of just want to head down here. And uh, yeah, you'll see that there is yet another kind of entrance kind of being blocked. And uh, all you need to do is just use a Pokemon that knows Rock Smash. And like I said, Bidoof is pretty much the best HM slave. So yeah, uh, now is kind of the difficult part, but I will slow down the video for you guys. I'm going to turn off my face cam now and kind of go silent so that you guys can kind of watch exactly how I do this next little puzzle. You just kind of want to copy exactly what I do and get in the position that I do too. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys in just a second.
Okay, so as you can see, I've just completed the puzzle and it says it sounded as if doors were open from far away. Now, these places are very, very far away, so I don't know how our character heard those doors being open. He must be like a bat, a noy bat or something. Uh, but anyway, now what we want to do, guys, is exit this little area, this little temple of awesomeness. And uh, once we do, rock climb back up and we are going to catch the first Reggie Trio person. Reggie. Reggie. Yeah, we're gonna catch the first Reggie of the Reggie Trio. That's what I should... <laughs> I'm such an idiot. But anyway, uh, so rock climb up like so, guys. And uh, we're gonna continue down here. And uh, just go through the little tunnel. And this first Pokemon is going to be Reggie Ice. It's pretty easy to find. And uh, you only need to battle one trainer in front of it. But there is kind of a little workaround. So uh, yeah, just kind of keep on following where I go, guys. And uh, we need to go to this next route right here. So go through the root extender like so. And uh, yeah, just kind of continue on where I go. And uh, guys, I would really like to know who is your favorite Reggie out of the Reggie trio? Not the not Reggie Gigas, because like that's kind of unfair. Uh, but anyway, tell me in the comments below. Uh, so once you're here, kind of slide past this train right like so. And uh, yeah, there will be a little temple with the Reggie Ice kind of logo eyes thingies. And uh, yeah, as you can see down there, that is Reggie Ice right there, guys. And uh, you can save before you encounter it and keep on doing soft, soft resets to kind of try and get the shiny Reggie Ice. But I believe that Reggie Steel is the best shiny. Uh, so I'm probably going to try my best at trying to get that Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is how to get Reggie Ice. Okay, so the next area we need to go to is Brimber City once again, and instead of going to the other route, we need to go to the route next to the volcano, and this will take us to Reggie Rock. And uh, just like I speculated a couple of weeks ago, yeah, it is exactly where I thought it would be. Uh, so here on Route 6, guys, what we're going to do is go through the little uh, grassy area to the right-hand side, just where Super Monkey is. And uh, yeah, there you go. You can see that this big, huge, like, pile of dirt or kind of rock structure is now opened up. And inside it, we do have Reggie Rock, which personally for me is my favorite Reggie. He just looks kind of cool. And I love the models of this game, too. Whoever created these models... Props to you, dude, because they do look pretty amazing. Okay, now the last Reggie that you need to get from the Reggie Trio is in Rose Cove City. Just kind of follow on where I go. And uh, yeah, we need to go to the Grove of Dreams. Now, not a lot of new characters or new players actually know that this place exists. Not r the Grove of Dreams, like the place that I need to go to in the Grove of Dreams. Because it's kind of like hidden. But uh, anyway, so as you can see, we're coming past the Exernus tree. Exernus? Exer Exernus? Exer the The... The Pokemon X tree, I think, or Y tree, one of them, anyway. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you just kind of want to follow exactly in my footsteps, guys. Eventually, you will come to this root extender. Just keep on going, it's okay. And uh, once outside of it, you will see it says we are at the go grove, the grove of dreams. And uh, yeah, like I said, guys, just kind of keep on following exactly where I go over this little kind of hill, kind of uh, bridge, kind of thing. Yeah, um, you can tell I'm tired. You can tell I'm so tired. Uh, but anyway, uh, just keep on continuing past the Dratini spawn. And uh, yeah, turn left up here. And this is where not a lot of people knew existed. Like, not a lot of new players know that this little area back here actually exists. Uh, but it does, and it's pretty cool. Because you know why? It actually holds Reggie Steel. One of the best looking ones, anyway. I like Reggie Rock. A lot of people like Reggie Steel. Uh, but here he is, guys. Reggie Steel. And uh, yeah, you are free to now capture him. Get a shiny. I would suggest getting a shiny. He looks like neon green, I've heard. And uh, yeah, that sounds very, very awesome to me. Uh, but anyway, guys, like I said, I would like to thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it and I did help you out, please remember to leave a like on the video. And also show some love to Super Monkey if you did make it this far. Actually, comment if you made it this far throughout the video. I would be pretty interested to know who stayed. Uh, but anyway, guys, I will have a lot of guides and a lot of glitches to do with the new update. So please stay tuned on my channel. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.